welcome and it's nice to see you and see all your beautiful faces and smiley faces here if you see i'm in a transition right now what i'm creating or trying to mimic is a new studio in my basement but today i got want to talk about this beautiful thing next to me is the moza air and i want to talk about the inception mode everybody's having troubles and issues my own works and i'm grateful because it works and it's perfect if you hear a little noise it's because of the my wife i think is walking right now so i cannot do as much so anyway so the things that you need to do right now my mosa air is on as you guys can see it moves and everything and the inception mode mode works uh, you guys want to see it now you see the camera tilt up and the motor rotates i mean it's working fine i have no problems with it and i mean i'm happy i shot if you guys like the uh the little clip little intro video that i create i don't have the i don't know if i have the inception mode maybe i did or maybe I no i didn't so the inception mode is gonna be actually when i'm gonna show you what this machine can do so this is it uh, i mean it's working fine i have no problems no troubles and i want to explain to you a few tips and tricks but first you have to go to the mosa air website so if you want guys wants to go with me you need to download the new um software or operating system well not soft not operating system but the new software for your operating system in my case i'm using a mac so i'm gonna download the new firmware for the mosa air you go to mosa air click in there and then you go to download once you are in download roll the way down and if you are using windows download windows if not download mac um, i already have it with me on my desktop so the next step will be to open the software and you see it says like mosa it's not being found so now we turn back in here and we're in our Mosa Air. We need to turn power off. So now it's powered off, as you guys can see, it moves just it's off. So you plug then the UPA the, the USB cable right into your Mac, and then you come in here and do it on the Mosa. There you go. And then if you guys go to the Let's go to the computer you see has been found blah 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 and right now we just have to power on and it will run the um the uh, new update in this case mine is already been updated so it didn't jump to that screen but that's pretty much what you guys need to do so now if for the inception mode in inception mode you guys are gonna have to change the speed of the rotation in your computer unfortunately it's not being released on the app on the mobile app yet i hope that they do it eventually but not in this moment so now we have to control everything from our pc so you guys are gonna have to know what kind of speed you want before shooting or going to a location or you're gonna have to bring your macbook or your laptop with you and you guys are gonna have to make the changes in there so if you guys go with me here on the screen we go to control and you see inception mode right now my speed is um 30 percent but then you can switch it to 90 because 90 is the one that i use for my video that i'm going to show to you guys pretty soon and then once you're happy with that that's the only thing that we're going to change just to speed nothing else we're going to go and click save and it's been already saved and now you guys can basically close the app and unplug the mosa 
and then turn it off. You see, motor is completely off. And then power back on, boom, and that's it. And now is should it should be working because it was working before. And if you guys know my video at the moment looks a little bit different. It's not the greatest because I'm recording on my GoPro Hero 5 because my main DSLR Canon ADD is on the Moza Air at the moment. So if, I'm sorry for the quality of the picture, but this is all that I can do for today. So anyways, this is the Moza Air. Okay, so how you guys can access to the um, Inception mode. So this is what you guys need to do. Joystick in here, you will push and hold and one and because it's been you hold it, the joystick and then you will uh, push it three times the on and off button and you see our Mosa Air already turned into the inception mode and we put it forward I mean you can tilt it and move it as much as you want the direction that you want to start and then you just start the rotation and that's pretty much it. I mean, it's not rocket science. Something that I need to tell you guys about the joystick. Because we think, and our brain is telling you that if I push it really hard, the joystick um, will go faster. No, remember, we already set up the speed and everything in the computer. So just, just gently, just like move it to your size and it will go, I mean, it will move without a problem. Something that I noticed in the clip that I wanna show you right now. So okay, now that we are back, Something that I want to say about, I had a little problem with the inception mode uh, because I was so excited to like try it out and everything in that clip that I show you guys at the moment. I actually push it really hard to left side or the right side and the motor didn't want to turn because I mean, I think it's a little bit sensitive. So I think I can, don't quote me on this one, but I believe it's a little bit sensitive. So you just like gently just move the joystick and you guys will be fine. Uh, I know that you guys have a lot of troubles and issues with the new firmware, but I hope that most have released a new one fixing all those bugs and everything. And some other ones are doing great. I have seen so many videos with inception mode. I'm happy and I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit like, Shoot me a comment, don't forget to share it, and I think I'll see you in a couple days before going to my vacation. But if not, have a blessed week, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>